Hello everybody, it's Chris Marder 9 here, and I have some good news for you guys. Now, at the beginning of the week, I had real high doubt that I was going to be able to do part 4 of my uh, Swedish thing or word of the week series. Um, because my dad has had a, had a week off, so but he's currently out at the moment, so it gives me a real opportunity for me to do this um, and to promise you guys part four. Um, so here we go. Okay, this is a word again. Um, I'm, I'm I'm not too sure what sort of Swedish thing I can like do. I mean, um, and I, d I don't really have recipes to. to to make glug at the moment or anything like that but um, unfortunately this is a word again um, so just be patient you guys if whenever I find a good um, thing to do I will see if I can get my hands on some and I will do it all right okay so this is a word this week and uh, it's just, this is the word that I've thought about on my own um, and this word I need a little bit of clarification on this word I think um, and I'm going to go straight out with this word the word is lixom <sighs> this word is a real pain in the bum especially when I'm sort of learning this language properly anyway and um, it's basically this word I don't know what it is but it's this sort of word that you use in this language that I just have no idea how to use it. I mean, okay, you're probably you're probably thinking right now, why is he using a word that annoys him for word of the week? But this is the reason why I would like um, this word to be word of the week because I just have no idea how to use it. I mean. I know some Swedish people actually use this word "liksom" in conversation, in rapid conversation. I mean, you'd hear this word and then boom, they're talking about something different. So, the question I would like to ask all you Swedish people that watch my videos: How would you use this word? When would you use this word? What would be the better way of using this word? And um, literally. Is there any meaning of it? I mean, you know, it's it's very similar to the the word you. I don't know. I don't know if how I'm going to pronounce that. But sometimes when people speak in Swedish or even write in Swedish, mostly they do use the word you. Um, but um, but that's not word of the week. The word of the week is lixon. Um, I have absolutely no idea how to use this word. Literally. Um, so. To all my Swedish subscribers, or to all my, to anybody who f watches my Swedish videos, it doesn't have to be a subscriber. Although, if you are watching my videos and you're not subscribed, then definitely click that button. Um, but um, yeah, this is going to be a short video. This is going to be a short video um, because it's just a question. Normally, I'd be teaching you guys, but this time it's more of a question to you Swedish people that. Well, you speak the language, so you know I'm leaving it up with you guys now. Um, so the word "liksom," how do you use it? When do you use it? And because I need, I need, I need a, I need a clearing up with this word because you know what? I've just had to say, look, I'm going to make a video about this word, and I need some answers. <laughs> um, but yeah. Just uh, just post a comment if you. I'm expecting a hell of a lot of paragraphs about this word, basically. So if if you're if you're willing to um, take the time out to tell me about this word, about what it is, uh, how you use it, and everything, you would be an absolute darling to me. Just literally just telling me all about this word. So um, so. Thank you in advance, and um, I shall be leaving you guys now. So um, until the next video, until part five of my Swedish thing or word of the week, 
I shall see you later. Hey, dog.